Okay, so we're checking out the only game where the best food source during the apocalypse is the dead bodies of your family. It's Alive in Shelter. More familial cannibalism, damn it. Alive in Shelter is a game where you must survive inside of a shelter with your family only to die in a variety of different ways. The game is of course amazing because it allows you to customize all of your characters, including wearing a superhero outfit from Party City and smoking a nuclear cigarette. Please let me buy this. Uh, yeah, my wife will be a sad wizard wearing a bikini. My son can have a highly coveted pinwheel hat. Is this just him shirtless save for his bling? I love, what is that? What does that say? Say, I love ass? Jesus Christ. My son mugged Darth Vader and took his suit. I have to have this. I find it interesting that you can change the appearance of your little fetus that comes along for the ride with you. She doesn't even have the ability to stop this. Oh, this is interesting. It, it almost looks like you can replace your daughter with a stalk of celery. You know what? Stalks of celery don't talk back. Day one. Showers, rain, it's pouring out, and our shelter is leaking. I'm glad that this game put me in such a fantastic position right off the bat. Wow. Look at this group of... Highly competent apocalypse survivors. On the plus side, even though our one bastion between my family and toxic radiation is leaking, uh, my celery stalk daughter is probably really enjoying this. So the point of the game is to go out into the world and find different items so that you can get the different endings, such as killing everyone you meet and eating them, or maybe flying rocket to the moon. Legit, there's an area over here that says rocket fuel and a poorly drawn symbol of a rocket on the wall. I need to get down this mine hole. Supposedly, there's the bodies of the damned down there, and I need them to turn into manure for my vegetable garden. As you can imagine, there's also a distiller, which we can use to turn our potatoes into vodka. Day number one. All right, Darth Vader, get out there and go scavenge. You know, it's gonna be a good day when there's an undulating plant growing out of the side of our shelter and there's a homeless guy just chilling on our stairs. The hobo. There's two options here. Maybe trade water for vodka or kill and eat him. Look, hobo, the family's hungry. So it's day number three. The tiny plant that was originally in our wall uh, has now tripled in size and has salivating mouths on it. Hey, little child, you're part plant. Talk to this damn thing. Now, you may be asking yourself, but Gray, where's the hobo at? He's right over here. Give me your bones, bitch. Tomorrow will be frosty and windy. I like that even though the entire world is wreathed in apocalyptic fallout, the weather guy is still giving an improper weather forecast. You will all die. Now that is the forecast I wanna hear during the apocalypse. So I just went outside just to see what's going on. Apparently if you get a gun, you can take out this little bird that's hanging out on our fence. All right, Katrina, it's your turn to go scavenging. Well. I went on to day five and I woke up in the morning and the plant in the wall has spilled onto my family and eaten us all. I like the ending. Everyone died. No sh. Okay, screw this plant. I'm eating it. Is there a goddamn key around that bird's neck? I need to get this gun ASAP. So I'm over here in the shop, uh, which is looking real legit. Apparently everything in this game has to be bought with potatoes. <laughs> Hurricane is coming. We need help, please. Attackers are everywhere. Wow, I wish I never turned this goddamn radio on. So there's a few worrying things happening here. I sent my wife out last night to go scavenge for supplies. Um, she hasn't come back. And now there is a plant growing out from the bottom of this trash heap. And this goddamn hobo is still here. It's okay though. I've got potatoes growing in our garden over here. Once I get these done, we can use them to trade for supplies. All right, the potatoes can finally be harvested. Sadly, my uh, my guy over here now has face rot. That's all right, his son can go out and trade. Day 11, we have to take a shower. We need to take a shower for? It's been raining for the last week straight. Police, there's police in the apocalypse. Okay, those are not police. They look like Jawas with little police hats on. So I'm going over here to the shop. Um, why is there a blob with eyes just chilling on the wall over here? There's a dog chilling outside. What is this? 
When I throw a bone at it? Hey, listen, dog. If you come work for me, I can guarantee you all of the cop-looking Jawas you can possibly eat. Remember when we killed the homeless guy? I just realized that there's a thing on the shelf over here. And it's called Innocent Soul. Okay, I can finally make alcohol with all my potatoes. <laughs> Makes drunk. That's the tool tip. I actually do have the dog now. I fed him the bones of the homeless guy and we have a dog. What can he do? What is this? Is he just like guarding the area before the Jawas comes? Will he attack the shit out of him so we can take their stuff? Oh, my son's been gone for like four days. He came back and now he's the Hulk. I mean, he's healthy. So that's good. Hey, Ben, what the hell happened to your Darth Vader costume? He's like, I can bench 350. I don't need no goddamn Darth Vader costume. But well, since you're so sure, you can go out and find us food. We're currently running out of water. That means that my only option for drink is vodka. Dog died. Bob died. That is sad. <laughs> That's the diary. I like that Bob's dead corpse still gets to have a seat at the table. <laughs> There's the poor dog throwing up blood. Oh, wait, he's fine. He brought us some stuff. He found us a bunch of water. Uh, so the plant coming through the wall is now a different color. I'm still going to eat it. What the hell is this? How come there's a snowman with a goddamn knife in its midsection chilling out in my freaking yard? Snowman killer. Okay. Okay, I've got a dead husband, but I also have two liters of alcohol and eight potatoes still. Can I eat my husband? Finally, I can take the bones from my husband and use them to feed the dog. All right, got more potatoes. That means it's time to make more vodka. Cause it's the literally the only thing keeping me alive right now. Dog's back. He found a ton more sh Keep doing it. All right, so I can use my husband's dead bones and then this trash over here to make more manure. So I'm in the forest over here. There's a guy. He looks like he's wielding a goddamn golf club. Is that a gun? Yoink. Okay, I've got the gun and three bullets right now. I just need that little bastard bird to turn up again so I can shoot him. I'm fighting someone called Buttman. I... Guess I'll use my axe. Can I eat you after you die? We were attacked. They kidnapped Martha. I spend most of my days sitting next to my husband's dead body, thinking about the time where I had a little celery stalk child before it got abducted by Ewoks. Oh, hey there, little bird. I see you got a key around your neck, you little bastard. Now it's chilling out above my light. Wow, I actually bottled up the soul of the bird as well. <laughs> this dog is single-handedly keeping me alive. So I used the silver key to get into the house. There's like a little Jawa guy here with a pickaxe. Hey, little Jawa guy. I need your goddamn pickaxe. Down in the mines. Mining for copper ore. What is this? Is this, is this a rescue plane? Did I win? <laughs> My whole family's dead. What are they? Wait, are they supposed to move it, son of a bitch? It's okay, at least I have more potatoes and more vodka. The dog is back with more stuff. I think my dog finally died. He's laying in a pool of his own vomit. Day 40, I got attacked and killed by a goddamn bat. I'm not accepting this, we're gonna live somehow. All right, boys, the family's all here. Vader, you're up first. Go to the market. I think I'm actually gonna let the hobo live so I can trade my vodka for water. Okay, I've got the gun again and I bought three ammunition. I'm over here at the airport. I was attacked by some hobos, so I gotta chop them to pieces. Oh, I'm sorry. This is someone else's base. Like, <laughs> I tied them up inside their own bunker. Now you bastards know how it feels. What is this? This is like a goddamn satellite with a computer. You can send a message that says we have 10 hostages. Come rescue us. Hello there, little bird. You look like dinner. All right, the dog's pulling his weight yet again. Okay, I think I finally have the alcohol for the miner. <laughs> Legit, sure enough, he just chills out down here and mines for me. <laughs> I just have to keep paying him in vodka. Please give a light signal. Maybe this time I won't screw it up. Hey, little Jawa. How you doing down here in the mines? Drunk. Good. He's part way to copper and gold. What, um, what is this inside of my mine? There's like a little demon badger or something? What the hell is this? Is this a supply drop? What is this, PUBG? All the vodka is single-handedly keeping me alive because it's allowing me to make the health kits so I can keep the last two family members from dying. We know that you steal supplies. Give us one potato and one carrot so that we will ignore that. I don't, I don't have 
a carrot. I mean, somehow they didn't come in and shoot us, so I'm not really sure what the hell just happened there, but whatever. I got some iron ore, so I'm making some shuriken, because honestly, why the hell not? So, I'm over here at the airport, and I just noticed that you can talk to one of these things. Hi, what's going on here is fairly complicated. Don't trust the government or the military. Every even numbered day, come here and we'll leave a package for you. Son of a bitch! I'm telling you, I dig the red eyes and the clothespins through the lips. Thanks for the oil. I don't care what it takes. One way or another, I'm gonna beat this goddamn game. Also, dog, you are literally the best member of my entire family. That moment when you're in your apocalypse shelter and there's a freaking alchemy bench. In your alchemy bench, you can make fantastic potions such as piss vision. Allows you to scan the trapdoor for 16 days. It's like x-ray vision, but for drunk people. Mmm, green dirt. Fishberry, innocent bomb. I'm assuming this takes the souls of the innocent. It does. And two uranium. Cleanberry, cleans family members. My God, we don't even have to take a shower anymore. This is the greatest day of my life. Now all I have to do is just rub ejaculated berries all over my family. How's it going, hobo? I need your soul. What's going on, bad snowman? You came to the wrong goddamn neighborhood. This is the greatest day of my life. I finally got hops to make beer. This is such quality time. The family down in the basement together, the entire world killing one another, teaching my seven-year-old son how to make beer. I finally have the items I need to revive my doge. Hell yeah, he's back in action. <laughs> Please give a light signal. I love that the light signal always comes when there's a friggin' hurricane outside and I can't leave. I've also got axe-wielding Billy Mays outside my goddamn door trying to sell me something. Freaking hell for crying's sake. Okay, I've got to survive for four more days and then we can finally get on the bus and leave. I've been making mashed potatoes like crazy. Over here in Soviet Russia, we, we eat our mashed potatoes in test tubes. These bats are looking so delicious. My boy's down here in the mines doing his thing. Once he gets this gold done, it's 80%. I'm gonna finally be able to make piss water, whatever it's called. I've killed this bird so many goddamn times. No, I went out on day God, 41. Please, the bus no, wasn't there. No. I want to shoot myself in the face. No. Now at least these bats have someone to talk to. Great. Now the snowman is trying to punch his way through my friggin' trap door. Catcher must be resuscitated. and play a clicking game to fix my wife. Please give a light signal. I wish I knew what this meant. Make this game end. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Yay, piss vision. So salty. I'm tired of these goddamn cops. I'm just shooting them. Got plenty of bones now. Yay, I can make a guitar now. I wanted my wife get to play the guitar. We've been underground for 74 days. I just want this freaking game to end. Please give a light signal for the 60th time. Make the pain go away. Oh my God, this could finally be it. Please, Jesus. Let this be over. I've been down here for 103 days. How many light signals does it take? I think what's amazing is that this guy is still down here mining. I didn't intend for this to happen, but this is now like the longest playthrough of this game ever. It's day 110. I'm not really sure what happened. I went out to the airport and I saw a bunch of guys and I killed them. And now we're wearing their clothing. So I guess we're all cultists now. Probably a completely different family. I can make so many gold bars at this point. I have so much gold. Make this blanket because why not? Fuse in the fuse box, wires attached. What does it mean? I don't know. Maybe it means the plane will actually see my freaking signal this time. Probably not though. Captain's log. Attempt number six billion to hail down the goddamn plane. It's like day 147 or something. I'm sorry, day 136. Achievement unlocked. Bus ending. Please, Christ, let this be the end. Yes! Uh, 147 freaking days in this goddamn game. Well, we did it. I lived on potatoes and vodka for four freaking months. And three out of four family members live, so that ain't bad. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Alive and Shelter. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.